This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com. Here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for September 23rd, 2022. After a sneak peek was shown earlier this week, Disney has now fully revealed the upcoming Epcot 40th Anniversary Merchandise Collection. It'll be launched at the Creation Shop on October 1st with more items arriving throughout the month. Select items will also be available on ShopDisney.com. Much of the apparel features Figment and the Epcot Pavilion logos. Disney referred to this as the Retro Collection, but the items only feature the current Pavilion logos and the current colors that are generally used at Epcot these days, so I'm not sure what is retro about them. The figment items include tees for kids and adults, a blue pullover fleece, and a jumbo pin. The sequin mini ear headband has a rainbow bow, uh, reminiscent of the now defunct rainbow tunnel from the Imagination Pavilion. The corksicle canteen also features the pavilion logos in a honeycomb pattern. The lounge five mini backpack is white with an all over pattern of the multicolored pavilion logos in the front pocket is Spaceship Earth inspired with an Epcot 40 patch. A white spirit jersey features the pavilion logos on the sleeves and Epcot 40 on the back above celebrating 40 years of imagination. A woven button-up shirt features a white and rainbow, uh, white to rainbow ombre. And Citizen will release a special Epcot 40 watch, which I think is probably the only piece of apparel I think I'm looking at at this point to buy. The Epcot 40th collection will also include a Spaceship Earth-themed figurine, a figment crossbody bag by Harvey's, trading pins, and an Alex and Ani charm bracelet not pictured. Uh, there will also be a limited edition Epcot 40th anniversary day of collection on October 1st while supplies last, that they are also not showing just yet. With just a matter of days before that 40th anniversary, Disney has now shown us a limited edition pin that will be available exclusively to D23 members. Pin showcases Spaceship Earth along with the 40th anniversary of Epcot logo. The pin offered in a limited edition size of 1,000 will be available to D23 Gold members on Shop Disney at 7 a.m. Pacific time on Monday, September 26th. To purchase, you must log in with an account tied to a D23 Gold membership. Since its return in March of 2022, the Festival of Fantasy Parade has run twice daily at the Magic Kingdom, but starting in October, it'll only run once a day, which is back to normal. The current schedule sees two performances a day, one at noon and one at 3 p.m., but starting in October, it'll return to that once-a-day 3 p.m. performance, again, uh, the usual. This change is slated to take place on October 9th, according to the Walt Disney World Entertainment calendar. They will fill that hole in the schedule with uh, the 50th anniversary cavalcade for the time being, though. News today is brought to you by the Sunshine Flyer, the new 1920s rail-themed transportation from Orlando International Airport to the Walt Disney World Resort Hotels. Start your vacation experience as soon as you step off the plane with motor coaches that create the atmosphere of old-fashioned passenger cars. And no two designs are the same of those vehicles. Kids 12 and under are $10 per ride and adults are $16 per ride. To reserve, visit sunshineflyer.com. What happens when the orange bird meets Jose from Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room? Well, you get this amazing collectible vinyl figurine. We found this uh, little ray of tiki sunshine at the Frontier Trading Post of the Magic Kingdom, as well as at Disney Springs at the Wonderground Gallery. Although it's made from vinyl, the design has a carved wood look. The orange bird and Jose are relaxing while enjoying a citrus swirl or dole whip. The orange bird is sitting uh, down on a dark brown rectangular base with his yellow feet extended out in front of him. Adorned with green feathers and wings, he is holding a citrus swirl while looking up at the smiling uh, and smiling at the Tiki Room macaw. Jose has one of his yellow feet grasping onto his perch while the other foot holds his swirl. We assume he's holding the Dole Whip. Obviously, the, the two uh, birds associate with different uh, frozen treats in Adventureland. The back of the rectangular box shows the vinyl figure set against a background of a Polynesian-looking design and surrounded by birds of paradise and other assorted birds from Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. It was designed by Maria Stuckey. Another new collectible Funko Pop town set is available at Walt Disney World in honor of the 50th anniversary. These sets include a golden Mickey Mouse figure and a park icon. The newest one includes the Hollywood Tower Hotel and Mickey in a bellhop uniform. Of course, we found that at Tower Hotel Gifts, the exit of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios. It's $39.99 for the set, and as noted recently, Disney seems to be avoiding use of the Twilight Zone name on merchandise to avoid those pesky licensing fees from CBS. The Mickey figure is completely golden right down to his bellhop hat, and the tower figure depicts the entire attraction building, and the best-looking one ever made at that, in my opinion. 
They grow up so fast. Well, just in time for a World Rhino Day, Dr. Mark Penning shared a video of Milo, a white rhino, celebrating his first birthday at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Milo, the son of Jal, was born on September 8, 2021, and received his name two months later. He turned out to be the second of three white rhinos born over a 13-month span at the park, following Ranger, born in October 2020, and preceding Logan, who was born in November of 21. In the description of the video on Instagram, Penning noted that Milo has already learned quite a bit in his first year, including how to wallow in the mud to keep himself cool in the heat and safe from the sun. Milo, Ranger, Logan, and the rest of the white rhino crash can be seen on the Savannah Kilimanjaro safaris. Japan Prime Minister Fumio Kishida announced that the country will reopen to visa-free individual travelers beginning on October 11th. You know what that means, folks? You can go to the Tokyo Disney Resort and go see all of Japan for that matter, which you should. It's a very cool place. Travel has been restricted for two and a half years due to COVID-19. And currently, Japan is only allowing package tours and requires visas for all visitors. It was quite a, it was quite a lot of work to get in in August. And of course, just if I had waited two months, there'd be none of that to go through. But now I will tell you things are going to be back to normal as long as you have those three uh, you know, uh, you've got those three shots. You're going to be able to go with no problem. So, uh, of course, you know me. I'm going to recommend get, get over to Tokyo as soon as you can. It's a good time. Jeff Tremaine, the director of Jackass Forever, is now producing Stolen Kingdom, a documentary about the 30-year history of wrongdoing and debauchery at the Walt Disney World Resort, leading up to the highly publicized theft of Buzzy, an audio animatronic from the defunct Cranium Command attraction at Epcot. The film's title treatment features an image of Buzzy amongst newspaper clippings. The subtitle is Bad Things Happen at the Happiest Place on Earth. Too bad Walt Disney World isn't the happiest place on Earth. It's the most magical, but we get the idea. Stolen Kingdom is directed by first-time filmmakers Joshua Bailey and Sam Fraser of White Lake. Quote, Josh and Sam somehow found me, introduced me to this story I found so compelling, Tremaine said. I was inspired by not only the story, but these young filmmakers. Having been a part of some Disneyland misbehavior, I'm excited to be involved in this. CAA represents Tremaine and the film and will be taking it out to buyers soon. That's... That Buzzy story never gets less interesting, and I still think the world doesn't know a lot about it, and I don't think the world knows a lot of the truth, and I don't know that the filmmakers do either, so I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what the findings are and what the final story ends up being, at least for public consumption. But uh, remember, in the world of Disney, I can tell you for a fact that truth is always stranger than fiction. For the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical trip. And the best part, their services are free. Visit WDWNT.travel for details. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. You can also support the entire team behind this show by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Of course, Patreon, uh, our, our WIGS members, get discounts on both their streaming ticket and regular admission for Celebration 40, our uh, big Epcot 40th anniversary event. All the details at events.wdwnt.com. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Looking for the latest in Disney news on the go? Then download WDWNT the app. From news to videos to park hours and more, WDWNT the app is your one-stop shop for the latest from the Disney world. Available on iPhone and Android, just search for WDWNT in your device's app store.